Hello friends, today in this video we are going to solve some gate previous years question from the chapter forecasting. So friends, this is a gate question from the year 2014. So what the question is saying, in an exponential smoothing method, so this is an exponential smoothing method, which one of the following is true? Basically friends, what is exponential smoothing method first of all? I will not explain the basic concept of exponential smoothing meta method but just I will write the relation. Basically exponential smoothing method is denoted by relation known as ft equals to ft minus 1 plus alpha times of delta where delta can be written as dt minus 1 minus ft minus 1 where ft is the forecast for this if if I consider t as this present present day or present month or present year then t minus 1 is for previous month or year and similarly demand d is demand for previous month or year and f is the forecast for previous previous month or year so now friends what the question is saying that alpha will vary from 0 to 1 yes alpha is basically varying from 0 to 1 and alpha is basically denoted by relation 2 divided by n plus 1 so friends if the minimum value which n can take is 1 so when the value of n is 1 the alpha will become 1 and if we, if we go on increasing the value of alpha sorry n the value of alpha will decrease so if we increase n the value of alpha will get decreasing so the value of alpha will rise in the range 0 to 1 now friends what is the if you look at the options and high value of alpha is used for stable demand see friends if alpha is more so friends if this value is more then this factor will also get increased which means the forecast for the next month or year is also getting increased so this statement is incorrect because the, the demand is not stable so if we look if we look at the other option option b option b says that alpha is again varying from 0 to 1 it is also correct but high value of alpha is used for unstable demand yes this is correct because if alpha will increase then the forecast will also increase and the, and the demand is unstable in nature so the right answer is option B now friends moving to the next question so friends this is again a gate question from the year 2014 set 3 so what the question is saying the actual sales of a product in different months of a particular year are given below so they have given sales of a product in different month and the months are September October November December January and February and the various sales of values are also given what the question is saying the question says the forecast of the sales using the four month moving average method so this is a moving average method so this is another technique of forecast in, in this technique I am writing it as let's say moving average as MA with some of the total values let's say this is I say this is as S some of the S divided by N so now friends for they are using saying using the four months so we have to choose the four months only and calculate the value of Feb so four months will be January December November and October only so it will be 280 plus 250 plus 190 plus 240 divided by 4 because the month size is 4 so if you solve it you will be getting it as 240 so friends the right answer is 240 now moving to the next question so friends this is a gate question from the year 2015 set 1 so what the question is saying for a canteen the actual demand for disposable cups was 500 units in January so let's say I am writing it as D demand in January as 500 600 units in Feb so demand in Feb is demand in Feb is 600 units the forecast for the month of January was 400 units so forecast for the month of January was 400 units and the, the forecast for the month of March considering smoothing coefficient as 0.75 so they have given the value of alpha as 0.75 and they want the forecast of March equals what so in the previous question also I have told you that forecast of t can be written as forecast of t minus 1 plus alpha times of dt minus 1 minus of ft minus of 1 so first of all I will calculate the forecast of Feb so forecast of Feb can be written as forecast of January plus alpha times of demand of January minus of forecast of January if you put the values the forecast of January was 400 
alpha is 0.75 demand of january was 500 and forecast of january was 400 you will be getting the value of forecast of feb as 475 units so we are we have got the value of forecast of feb as 475 units now friends we have to calculate the forecast of March similarly we use the same relation which I have written above that is FT equals to FT minus 1 plus alpha times of DT minus 1 minus FT this relation I will calculate forecast of March as F of forecast of Feb plus alpha times of demand of Feb minus of forecast of Feb so friends what is the forecast of Feb Forecast of Feb is 475, Alpha is 0.75, Demand of Feb is given as 600, 600 and minus of Forecast of Feb is 475. So if you will calculate and put the values, we will be getting the value as 568.75 units. So friends, this is the answer. Now moving to the next question. So friends, this is again a question from gate year 2015 set 2. So what the question is saying, they have given the sales date of a product is given the form of table. So the months are Jan, Feb, March, April, May and the number of units sold are 10, 11, 16, 19, 25. So what the question is saying now, regarding forecast for the month of June, which one of the following statements is true? Moving average will forecast a higher value compared to regression. So friends, this, if you will try to solve it assuming any data, you might also get the correct answer. But if you look at the table clear, carefully, it is saying that January it was 10, Feb it was 11, March it was 16 and April 19 and May 25. So if you see that uh, when months is increasing, months is increasing, the number of units sold is also incre increasing. By looking at the data only, I, we can say that it is a basically a linear regression type of curve not exact linear but it's a linear regression so if we have to forecast for the month of june the moving average will not give a higher value it's an incorrect statement because average will always move towards lower higher the value of order and the greater will be the forecast value moving by moving as no moving the, if the value of n increases the average will always decrease in nature so this is also incorrect Exponential smoothing will forecast a higher value compared to regression. No friends, regression is the only th method which will give higher value in comparison to all other methods and no other method will give a value higher than compared to regression. So this is again an incorrect statement. Regression will forecast a higher value compared to moving av average. Yes, this is the right statement. Option D is the correct statement. Now moving to the next question. So friends, this is a gate question from the year 2016. So what the question is saying, the demand for a two-wheeler was 900 units and 103 units in April 2015 and May 2015. So what they are saying that demand in April, demand in April is 900 units and demand in May is 1030 units. The forecast for the month of April, so they have given the value of forecast also, the forecast of April was 850 units. Considering a smoothing constant of 0.6, so alpha value is also they have given the forecast for the month of June. So, friends, it is a similar kind of question which Gate ha or have asked in previously in 2014. Same question, only the data they have changed. So, how do we solve it? We will again use the same relation that is FT equals to FT minus 1 plus alpha times of DT minus 1 minus FT minus 1. So, first of all, we will calculate the forecast of May. So forecast of May can be written as forecast of April plus alpha times of demand of April minus of forecast of April. If you will put that data, forecast of April is 850, alpha is 0.6, demand of April is 900 and forecast of April is again 850. So if you will calculate it, you will be getting it as 880. Now friends, we will we have to calculate the forecast of June. The forecast of June will be basically again it can be written as forecast of May plus of alpha times of demand of May minus of forecast of May. So forecast of May is basically 880 plus alpha is 0 0.6. 
डिमांड ऑफ मे इज़ वन जीरो थ्री जीरो एंड फोरकास्ट ऑफ मे इज़ अगेन एट एटी एंड इफ यू विल कैलकुलेट एंड एंड सॉल्व इट यू विल गेटिंग इट एज नाइन सेवेंटी यूनिट्स सो ऑप्शन डी इज़ द राइट आंसर नाइन सेवेंटी यूनिट्स इट इज़ द राइट आंसर नाउ फ्रेंड्स मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अगेन अ गेट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एटीन सो वट द क्वेश्चन इज सेंग द टाइम सीरीज फॉरकास्टिंग मेथड दैट गिवस इक्वल वेटेज टू ईच ऑफ द एम मोस्ट रिसेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन इज सी फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अगेन दिमिलर क्वेश्चन गेट आई हैव आस्ट इट इज इफ यू इफ यू रिमेंबर द क्वेश्चन आई हैव सॉल्व फॉर गेट टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन दैट फॉर मूविंग एवरेज मेथड मूविंग एवरेज मेथड एम ए मेथड इट वॉज बेसिकली समेशन ऑफ ऑल द सेल्स डिवाइडेड बाई अपॉन एन सो इफ यू कैन राइट इट एज वन बाई एन इन टू एस वन प्लस ऑफ वन बाई एन इन टू एस टू अप टू वन बाई एस वन बाई एन इन टू एस एन सो इफ यू लुक एट द वैल्यू वन बाई एन वन बाई एन सो दे आर वेटेज विच इज दे आर सेंग इक्वल वेटेज सो सी फ्रेंड्स वन बाई एन वन बाई वन एवरी वन इज गेटिंग इक्वल वेटेज so the moving average method is giving equal weightage in in time series forecasting so this is the right answer now moving to the next question